Hello, Familia. Glory be to God for another day to be able to share his word together and hear his word together in the mighty name of Jesus. Today's um, daily bread was just kind of different today in the way that it came, you know, and, and I actually wasn't really 100% sure, but I just decided to go with it and, you know, let Holy Spirit guide me, and so that is my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, that our beautiful God above will guide me in all the things that he has to say, because what I have to say is irrelevant, <laughs> unless it's God saying it through me, it's irrelevant. Hallelujah, amen. <laughs> so, it's kind of different because it, you know, Psalm 67, and also, um, you know, part of um, Zephaniah 3 were highlighted, but then when I went to go look, you know, it was like the whole book, and I'm just like, okay, your will be done. So here we are. We are going to start with Psalm 67, though. All will praise God. Hallelujah. May God be gracious to us and bless us. Look on us with favor, Selah, so that your way may be known on earth your salvation among all the nations. Hallelujah. Let the peoples praise you, God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations rejoice and shout for joy, for you judge the peoples with fairness and lead the nations on earth. Selah. Hallelujah. Let the peoples praise you, God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has produced its harvest. God, our God, blesses us. God will bless us and all the ends of the earth will hear him. Hallelujah and amen. I believe. I believe because that's what his word says. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Now again, like I said, we are going to read the book of Zephaniah. Bless the Lord of my soul. The word of the Lord came to Zephaniah, son of Cushi, son of Gedaliah, son of Amariah, son of Hezekiah, in the days of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah, I will completely sweep away everything from the face of the earth. This is the Lord's declaration. I will sweep away man and animal. I will sweep away the birds of the sky and the fish of the sea and the ruins along with the wicked. I will cut off mankind from the face of the earth. This is the Lord's declaration. I will stretch out my hand against Judah and against all the residents of Jerusalem, I will cut off every vestige of Baal, Baal from this place. The names of the pagan priests, along with the priests, those who bow and worship on the rooftops to the heavenly host, those who bow and pledge loyalty to the Lord, but also pledge loyalty to Milcom, and those who turn back from following the Lord, who do not seek the Lord or inquire of him. Be silent in the presence of of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is near. Indeed, the Lord has prepared a sacrifice. He has consecrated his guests. On the day of the Lord's sacrifice, I will punish the officials, the king's son, sons, and all who are dressed in foreign clothing. On that day, I will punish all who skip over the threshold, who fill their master's house with violence and deceit. On that day, this is the Lord's declaration. There will be an outcry from the fish gate, a wailing from the second district, district, and a loud crashing from the hills. Wail, you residents of the hollow, or the market district. For all the merchants will be silenced. All those loaded with silver will be cut off. And at that time I will search Yerushalayim with lamps and punish the men who settle down comfortably who say to themselves, the Lord will not do good or evil. Their wealth will become plunder. Their houses are ruined. They will build houses, but never live in them. Plant vineyards, but never drink their wine. The great day of the Lord is near, near and rapidly approaching. Listen, the day of the Lord, then the warrior's cry is bitter. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress a day of destruction and desolation, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and blackness, a day of trumpet blast and battle cry, 
against the fortified cities and against the high corner towers. I will bring distress on mankind and they will walk like the blind because they have sinned against the Lord. Their blood will be poured out like dust and their flesh like dung. Their silver and their gold will not be able to rescue them on the day of the Lord's wrath. The whole earth will be consumed by fire, by the fire of his jealousy. Woo! Hallelujah! <laughs> I kind of feel what Jesus says. Oh, how I wish it was burning, you know, even though it already is. But, glory be to God. For he will make a complete, he will make a complete, yes, a horrifying end of all the inhabitants of the earth. Gather yourselves together. Gather together, undesirable nation, before the decree takes effect, and the day passes like chaff, before the burning of the Lord's anger overtakes you, before the day of the Lord's anger overtakes you. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the earth, who carry out what he commands. Seek righteousness, seek humility, perhaps you will be concealed on the day of the Lord's anger. Hallelujah, Lord, help us. We're counting on you for that. For Gaza will be abandoned, and Ashkelon will become a ruin. Ashdod will be driven out at noon, and Echon will be uprooted. Woe, inhabitants of the sea coast, nation of the Carethites. Forgive me. The word of the Lord is against you, Canaan, land of the Philistines. I will destroy you until there is no one left. The sea coast will become pasture lands with calves for shepherds and folds for sheep. The coastland will belong to the remnant of the house of Judah. They will find pasture there. They will lie down in the evening among the houses of Ashkelon, for the Lord their God will return to them and restore their fortunes. I have heard the taunting of Moab and the insults of the Ammonites, who have taunted my people and threatened their territory. Therefore, as I live, this is the declaration of the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Moab will be like Sodom, and the Ammonites like Gomorrah, a place overgrown with weeds, a salt pit, and a perpetual wasteland. The remnant of my people will plunder them. The remainder of my nation will dispossess them. This is what they get for their pride, because they have taunted and acted arrogantly against the people of the Lord of hosts. The Lord will be terrifying to them when he starves all the gods of the earth. Whoa, hallelujah. Go ahead and go ahead and do that. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, that will be done. And then all the distant coastlands of the nations will bow and worship to him, each in its own place. You Cushites will also be slain by my sword. He will also stretch out his hand against the north and destroy Assyria. He will make Nineveh a desolate ruin dry as the desert. Herds will lie down in the middle of it, every kind of wild animal. Both the desert owl and the screech owl will roost in the capitals of its pillars. Their calls will sound from the window, but devastation will be on the threshold, for he will expose the cedar work. This is the self-assured city that lives in security, that thinks to herself, I exist and there is no one else. What a desolation she has become, a place for wild animals to lie down. Everyone who passes by her jeers and shakes his fists. Chapter 3. Woe to the city that is rebellious and defiled, the oppressive city. She has not obeyed. She has not accepted discipline. She has not trusted in Yahweh. She has not drawn near to her God. The princes within her are roaring lions. Her judges are wolves of the night which leave nothing for the morning. Her prophets are reckless, treacherous men. Her priests profane the sanctuary. They do violence to instruction. The righteous Lord is in her. He does no wrong. He applies his justice morning by morning. He does not fail at dawn, but the one who does wrong knows no shame. I've cut off nations. Their corner towers are destroyed. I have laid waste their streets with no one to pass through. Their cities lie devastated without a person, without an inhabitant. I thought, you will certainly feel me, fear me, and accept correction. Then her dwelling place would not be cut off, based on all that I had allocated to her. However, they became more corrupt in all their actions. 
Therefore, wait for me. This is the Lord's declaration. Until the day I rise up for plunder, for my decision is to gather nations, to assemble kingdoms, in order to pour out my indignation on them, all my burning anger, for the whole earth will be consumed by the fire of my jealousy. Hallelujah! For I will then restore pure speech to the peoples. Hallelujah! <laughs> so that all of them may call on the name of Yahweh and serve him with a single purpose. Hallelujah! From beyond the rivers of Cush, my supplicants, my dispersed people, will bring an offering to me. And that day you will not be put to shame because of everything you have done in rebellion against me. For then I will remove your proud, arrogant people from among you, and you will never again be haughty on my holy mountain. Hallelujah! I will leave a meek and humble people among you, and they will take refuge in the name of Yahweh. The remnant of Israel will no longer do wrong or tell lies. A deceitful tongue will not be found in their mouths. Hallelujah! But they will pasture and lie down with nothing to make them afraid. This is what Jesus promises. Glory be to God, familia. Sing for joy, daughter Zion. Shout loudly, Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, familia. Daughter Jerusalem, <laughs> the Lord has removed your punishment. He has turned back your enemy. The King of Israel, Yahweh, is among you. For Yeshua, glory be to God, you need to no longer fear harm, familia. On that day, it will be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, Zion. Do not let your hands grow weak. Yahweh, your God, is among you, a warrior who saves. He will rejoice over you with gladness, familia. <laughs> he will bring you quietness with his love. He will delight in you with shouts of joy. Hear the word of the Lord, familia. It will gather those who have been driven from the appointed festivals. They will be a tribute from you and a reproach on her. Yes, at that time I will deal with all who afflict you. They will save the lame and gather the scattered. You will make those who were disgraced throughout the earth receive praise and fame. At that time I will bring you back. Yes, at the time I will gather you. I will give you fame and praise among all the peoples of the earth when I restore your fortunes before your eyes. Yahweh has spoken. What makes me want to cry tears of joy right now is what he says about restoring pure speech. I'm excited, Familia. I'm excited that when we no longer have to live in oppression and working for oppressive people and oppressive companies, I see all the Familia all around me and... I don't want y'all trapped. I don't want y'all working for these awful places anymore. I gotta be honest, Familia, because that's not what God wants for you. He wants you to work for him and him alone and to rely on him and him alone. He wants us free. And we can be free on Zion. We can. He is, he is granting us this now. Familia, through the beautiful power of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua. Receive him today in the mighty name of Jesus, Familia. It's not always easy to know in your heart that your Father in Heaven is providing you everything that you need. And for me personally, not like having to go out with more. Out without more and yet knowing at the exact same time he is still a good God and he is still providing me with everything that I need it may not be everything that I think I need and it may not be everything that I think I want and and should get but he always 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 makes sure that I have everything I need I just have to receive it that's all you have to do as well just receive it and believe it. And so I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that our God helps you to believe it if you're struggling. Because I get it. I get it. 100% I get it. And that's why 
I hate it. I, that's why I hate seeing the Amelia all trapped because it's hard when you feel like you don't have any other choice but to work for that awful place and rather than God. And I want us to be free in the mighty name of Jesus, I do. And I know he is. I know he's going to free us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I do. I believe it with all my heart because he says, Bless the Lord of my soul. Hallelujah. Amen. Bye for now.